Let's ahead at 9.06 this morning on the KNEB 960. Right now it is news time. News Extra brought to you by Interlinks. Here's Kevin. Thank you, Dennis, and good morning, everyone. And uh, we're going to learn uh, everything you wanted to know about that We Harvest documentary we've been talking about a little bit over here over the last week. We're very privileged to have Conrad Weaver here, the producer and director of the documentary. And Jody Lamp is here with the uh, Montana firm that's going to uh, promote this documentary and help do that kind of thing. And then it wouldn't be a news extra program <laughs> every once in a while without Teresa Scanlon, Miss America 2011. <laughs> We're always pleased to have her on. So, uh, Conrad, uh, how, did this, how did this all get started? That's a two-year story. <laughs> so I'll give you the cliff notes. Uh, about two years ago, I started following the All Aboard Harvest blog. Uh, put out by High Plains Journal down in, in Kansas. And I've always had an interest in agriculture. I grew up on a dairy farm uh, in my younger years. And so I started following this blog, and one day my wife was looking over my shoulder reading it with me, and she was like, you should shoot a documentary about that. I'm a video producer, it's what I do. And I said, that's a fantastic idea. And I started doing some research and discovered the Custom Harvester organization, and two years later, here we are, uh, sitting in western Nebraska talking about our movie and uh, last summer we spent uh, three weeks out on the harvest tour and uh, produced a short trailer that's online right now and it's getting uh, lots of views and so we're really excited to be telling the story about uh, the great Americans who harvest our, our nation's wheat. Alright and like, like you said last year was the short version this year is the longer version. As a matter of fact, you have some folks that are maybe filming way down south today. Huh? We don't have them filming yet, uh, but we have harvest crews that are on the road right now heading to Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the wheat crop is coming in early down there, and so uh, several of the crews that I'm working with who are uh, part of this film are heading down to Texas. And uh, right now we're raising funds, and as soon as those funds uh, get established, we'll be able to... Uh, hit the road with the harvest crews and follow them and tell their stories. Yeah. Now you're going to start in Texas and you're going to go follow a lot way, of states, right? Follow all the way up to the Canadian border. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that, that'll be fun. So uh, uh, Teresa comes in and the promotion to kind of uh, get sponsors, am I right? Absolutely. We, I reached out to Teresa back uh, last year. We met at K-State University down in Kansas. Sorry, Nebraska fans. Uh, we, uh, we got together there. And I was able to talk to Teresa about the film, and she was excited about it. And so about a month or so ago, I reached out to, to Teresa on Twitter and said, hey, would you be interested in shooting a PSA for us to help promote the film? And she responded very positively and said, absolutely. So here we are, and today we, we are going to be here in the Scotts Bluff area shooting a PSA with Teresa. Okay, and this is for all those uh, sponsors to help kind of get people to, 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 raise, uh, money, to raise, raise money and so Absolutely. forth, right? Yes. Right? All right. Uh, <laughs> Teresa, I know you've been promoting agriculture a lot. So yes. So when you, when you talked to Conrad, it, it had to be a pretty easy yes. Well, exactly, and especially because one of the largest things that we always try to focus on and that I focus on with all groups that I speak to is the fact that we need to be in the media. I mean, everybody knows that that's really the number one way that most people get their information. And right now, mainstream media is really feeding a, a lot of misinformation regarding agriculture. And so the more that we can get into those realms with films like this, um, with social media, with websites, with anything media related, that is gonna really have the biggest impact. Um, because the fact is, uh, you know, many farmers and ranchers are out here in in the Midwest, in rural parts of the country, continuing the work they've always done. The only difference is what kind of information the general public is receiving about mm -hmm. this work. Nothing has really changed on the agriculture side, it's all changed on the societal side. And so really when it comes to reaching the younger generation, when it comes to reaching the public at large, media is the way to do it. And so mm -hmm. films like this are tremendously important. And so I'm so glad that I can do whatever small bit I can to try to show potential sponsors, supporters of this film, how important it really is um, to get media like this into the hands of the general public in America today. Yeah. And so uh, what you'll do today is uh, you'll be out around uh, Barna New. Right which is uh, west of town, mm -hmm. and that's where you'll be shooting it. And yeah. uh, they've kind of given you a little 
script? What's the script look like? Well, basically, again, it's just helping people understand that this is a story we want to tell about the harvesters, that we want to explain the importance of agriculture and, more importantly, for the consumer, how that comes from the field to the table. Because a lot of people are truly interested in this. This is about protecting both the producer and the consumer. Um, this is kind of serving as a liaison between the two to help everybody understand what they're putting in their bodies, what they're putting on their table and in their mouths. And I think that's something everybody wants wants to know more about and every person deserves to mm -hmm. and I think that the general public should should take that responsibility to get that information about the food that they're eating every day and films like this are going to be a tremendous way to do that all right let's take a break we'll be right back after this so uh, maybe we should talk about how much money you need to raise we need to talk to and then we'll and how many people are on it and then maybe we'll talk to Jody about where it's you know, where it might be, uh, you know, uh, placed in theaters and on television maybe and all that kind of stuff. And then you can do the big thing about what the name is. Okay. And if there's any additional ways to support, I mean, always plug that. If yeah. there's, web, you know, website, Twitter, or wherever the video yeah, is. Because I haven't even seen the little website. trailer video okay. or wherever okay. that's at. Yeah. All right. All right. We are back on News Extra. Again, uh, Conrad Weaver is here. Uh, he is the producer-director of the uh, Weed Harvest movie, and uh, Jody Lamp is here. She's going to market it, and Teresa Scanlon's going to shoot a little PSA today, uh, maybe a seven- or eight-, nine-minute PSA to help uh, get sponsors for the movie. So how much money do you need as far as sponsorship here? Well, you know, the sky could be the limit, but uh, uh, we, as far as production, we're looking to raise about $750,000 for production. And then we need additional funds also for marketing and distribution and all that. So we're looking at about a $2.5 million budget uh, overall. And uh, it looks like, you know, if, but that's huge. But uh, Everybody's looking at it going, wow, that's a million, that's a lot of money. It, it's, a, it's a major project. And, you know, we're going to be looking for major distribution. And whether it's, it, it's theaters or, or uh, you know, PBS or, you know, or other networks like that, uh, we want to raise the money because we want to do it right. Mm -hmm. We don't want to just this to be a little YouTube video. It's going to be a major theatrical release. It's going to be a major film. And so those kind of things cost money. And I'm just excited to have a team around me now to be able to uh, raise that kind of money. And uh, I reached out to you know, Jody Lamp in Montana, and she was excited about it. And we put together a, a marketing team. We've had a strategic planning session over the last couple of days. And uh, so we're excited to be able to uh, bring this to the American public and uh, and hopefully we have sponsors that, uh, you know, out there who will who will see our vision and will catch that vision and will come on board with us to tell the story. All right, Jody, uh, so that's kind of your job is to help raise the money and then uh, get it out there, distribute it. Uh, um, where will it be distributed uh, when you raise the money? I'm going to say when, not if, because I'm going to say when. <laughs> right. And, uh, and uh, where do you, you. <laughs> where do you where do you distribute it? And uh, is it on TV and in theaters like here? Uh, well, what what we want to do, and I just want to first preface. I think uh, Western Nebraska is a great op has a great um, place here to raise advocates for agriculture. I'm originally from this area as well. Went to school in Minotaur, mm -hmm. yep. and uh, so proud of Teresa and everything that she's accomplished and out there promoting agriculture and really appealing to a non ag audience. So. As we uh, film this movie, we're, we're looking at a 10-state area, so our hope and our dream is to get it out to, uh, we, we visited the Midwest Theater here and going into some, some theaters across the country over that 10-state area and doing premieres and looking at PBS and some other places like that that will really take this documentary to the level that it needs to create awareness for agriculture. All right. And uh, Teresa, you mentioned one of the things you got to do to promote it is social media, right? right? Mm -hmm. Am I right? Twitter yes, and, and, and that's how Conrad and I got connected. So social media is really just the place where agriculture needs to be. I do a lot of training on um, how you can get active in, in the social media realm via Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and even blogging. It's very important for those in agriculture to stand up and have a voice for agriculture. So. All right. So uh, one of the big things we are going to announce today is uh, the name of this movie. We're it's about not going to be the, just the Weed Harvest movie anymore. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, 
So uh, give us the name so there, drum partner. Roll, drum roll, yeah. <laughs> uh, we have, after a, a lot of research and a lot of thinking about this, we have decided to call it the Great American Wheat Harvest. All right, that's good. And because it, it's, it's about America, it's about wheat, it's about harvest, and we feel that uh, it's a uniquely American experience. And so we're calling it the Great America Wheat Harvest. And you can go to greatamericawheatharvest.com and you can see the trailer and uh, get any other, other, excuse me, other information about the film and you can contact us there. You can follow us on Twitter at wheat underscore harvest and uh, stay connected with us. All right, that's great, super. All right, well, good luck. And uh, uh, I know you'll have fun with uh, Teresa today shooting your public to service you. announcement. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a kick, she's a lot of fun. And uh, just good luck with everything. When do we uh, date for distribution? You have any? Date for release is going to be spring of 2014. Okay, spring of 2014. Yeah. It sounds like a long ways away, mm -hmm. but it's going to go quickly, and we have a lot of things to film over the next two years. That's right, that's right. Okay. All right, good luck with it. Great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us on. You bet. Thanks, Kevin.